What's up everybody, Ryan here. I'm in Akron, Ohio at United Refrigeration. Just picked up some filters for the day. I got a couple small PMs and I have a service call. Now the call seems kind of interesting. Let's see what it says here. The store is reporting many dead insects and bees that came out of the vents when it was on. There might be something wrong on the unit insects falling through the vents the GM wants HVAC tech to investigate so I'm gonna bang out these two filter changes they're VAVs they're pretty easy it's mall supplied air you go up you make sure the vents open the blowers running change the filter and then I'm gonna get to this service call it should be interesting so I'm gonna hit the road I got another hour before I'm there and I'll see you when I get there Top units. The one in the front is where they're getting all the bugs and wasps and gnats, and uh, it's a concentric. So your return air is right through the middle, and then your supply is around the perimeter. It's called a concentric, and uh, if you look up in there, you can see daylight. So you probably got a panel off. Might have a nest. There's some bugs floating around nearby. So we're gonna hop up on the roof and take a look. All right, everybody. I'm up here now and I can already see the problem. All right guys, well as you can see, our uh, filter door was off. I don't see any wasps or anything, but I did notice a lot of uh, gnats. There's some standing water around here, some mosquitoes, and that's basically what they've been uh, experiencing. So while I'm here, I'm gonna check all three units over, make sure they're heating, check the heat exchangers, you know, all that good stuff. Well guys, right off the bat, I don't even need to push this one in. Right here. And it's just completely rotted out. So, this uh, heat exchanger is gonna be shut off. Right off the bat. We'll go ahead and shut the gas off. I'm gonna write up some new contactors. Uh, blower looks good. Looks like that pressure switch has been bent over. Um, so, right off the bat, bad heat exchanger. All right, everybody, I got the filter door on with the new screw, nice and secure. Make sure all the panels are on. Make sure you disconnect's back on. Gas is off, and I cut low volt wire on W for heat. My heat exchanger panel's back on. I'm gonna call it good on this one. I'm gonna check these other two. They probably had a filter company come out and change those filters. This is the first time we've been to this account. Um, so thanks for not putting the door back on or securing it because now we got a, we got a write up on this unit. So um, very important guys, make sure your disconnect's on, make sure your screws are all in. Uh, you save yourself a, a lot of headaches that way. All right, guys, number two's looking pretty good. Belt's good, heat exchanger's good, electrical looks all right. I'm writing up one contactor. We're gonna go ahead and cycle it in heat. And there we go. Blower's on, everything's working, looks good to me. Let this sucker cool down, get it buttoned up, and we're heading over to number three. Again, very important, panels, secure, screwed down, disconnect on. Can't stress it enough. Um, not that I mind. I'll take a service call where the panel's off or the disconnect's off, but uh, if you don't want callbacks and you don't want to look bad at your company, just follow those two simple rules. Panels on, disconnect's on. All right, guys, number three looks pretty good as well. Heat exchanger's good. It's gonna need a belt. It's gonna need a couple of contactors. We're gonna be in good shape, so I'm gonna button this one up.
And again, on this one, all the panels are secured, disconnects on. I don't know if you could tell from that little bit of footage, but a lot of guys are talking about finger control these days. I try to have the best finger control I possibly can. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for this one. No wasps, I thought I was gonna find a big old nest, but the panel was off, it was sucking in bugs. I'm sure a, a wasp or a bee or two got pulled in there as well. Anyway, sorry for the short video. I just wanted to get something up. I'm itching to edit. Um, at least we found a heat exchanger bad today. Uh, miscellaneous parts, belts, you know, should be a nice little day's work for us coming up here in about a month. Uh, that's how long it takes usually to get things approved and get parts ordered. So, um, if I come back to this location in Madison, Ohio, I'll definitely make a video out of replacing that heat exchanger. Uh, I want to thank you for clicking on my video. Uh, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell icon. That'll notify you anytime I got a new video coming out. Hit like. Leave me a comment. You know the deal. Do it, man. Do it for me. Your boy, Ryan. Uh, please hit subscribe, though. I'm trying to get up to 1,000 subscribers before the end of the year. I think I might be able to do it. Uh, so I need your help. If you liked the video, hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm going to see you on the next one.